Derivatives trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Good morning, traders. John Perinunzi here to share some ideas on today's trade, specifically in the S&P 500. We're going to take a look at our daily chart here. Uh, for those that saw the, the show yesterday, what we were really emphasizing was how we've been in a bull market and we've been putting in these new all-time highs, but then that shifted recently. And now on the daily time frame, we're putting in lower highs and we're facilitate, facilitating lower prices more easily. Some of the areas we talked about yesterday were, were the 67s, which was a real key area. And if we got extension lower, we were looking at the prior month's low one time frame break. That ended up being the scenario we got. We looked at a few other ones, but that was what we got. And um, that was a very important test. So it kind of reiterates what we said about the market retracing. And that's what we're seeing here. It's a pretty big extension on this day. Uh, we closed almost at two vola down, which, which is a pretty significant day. And for me, the big thing that happened was we had this prior month's low. It was also a double TPO low. Um, from a while back and uh not only did we test it we test it we broke broke it and we settled actually beneath it so that's um for me that was yesterday was a pretty strong showing by the sellers this is our daily chart look at a few areas that are important now now that we've taken out this test the area that i'm looking for really here is the uh 50 60 area this is our next in my opinion this is our next important downside test I would expect there to be a fair amount of support sitting in this area. And then pushing up, the real key area we have is the prior month's low. Once again, um, if we're able to break back into that range, that's key in this red band. And then above, once again, getting back up into the 50s and the 67s again. So this is what we're looking at the daily. Real quickly, we'll take a look at our news before we look at the eight box. So we did get the uh, the zoo last night, which is the most important thing that came out out of Europe. It's a little lower than expected. Not a huge reaction in U.S. Uh, U.S. markets. Eight thirty. We don't have any big news drivers. Building permits, not really a big deal, but something to be aware of. Housing starts, another kind of a second tier number, but worth it to be aware of. Industrial production, one of those numbers that comes out at a weird time. 915 again kind of a second tier number and a few speakers mostly from other countries so a little bit less uh less relevant for us but still something to be aware of um so the key really is is we don't have that much news today so with that in mind let's look at our eight box Okay, so just looking at our 8-box PNF, the thing that I'm kind of keeping in mind right here, here's our prior month's, month's low. Here's this area. This is a pretty big fight, in my opinion. This is where we hit into this key level that everybody knew. Everybody was, everyone was aware of this. We fell through it. We weren't sure if we were going to just reject it, and instead we continued. So pretty significant for me this was a this was a fight area and then overnight off the reopen balanced tested prices below the prior day's low and then since then we're kind of just retracing so what do we have today that's important let me get the epic pen ready Okay, so obviously, get the correct mouse. Key areas that we're looking for, that we're aware of. Prior months low. Another key area, the overnight low. And our third key area is this target area that I mentioned on the daily chart right there. So the first scenario that I'm kind of looking at 
what we see here is you see this test below yesterday's low, and it did not ignite more selling, just kind of gave us a, rever a bit of a reversion higher. I'm expecting this to continue. Where would this sort of reversion higher continue to? My, I think what I'm looking at is somewhere up for an attempt to test the prior month's low. So I'd expect this to kind of try to continue here. This area is fairly important to get past, potentially through, up to here, below these prior month's highs, maybe a test. But the key idea here is going to be resistance at or ahead of the prior month's low that reverts lower, takes settlement, attempts a little higher maybe, continues lower, takes the overnight low, but pops back up and closes in range. That's kind of the key idea. Could go as low as these uh, 60s, but I think it I think it settles above. I think we settle, primary idea is I believe that we settle today between these 26s and the 60s somewhere. This is my primary idea. Something where we get a test here that's rejected, and we test lower and get a test either of the 60s or just above, but I'm seeing most of the trade today happen in this area. We do have pretty decent volume today. Right now it's uh, about 230 contracts traded at 7 a.m. Eastern, and our range is around 27. So that's optimistic, but like I said, this is my primary idea for today. I think that we, I think this area is resistance. I think this area is support. We have a chance of making both tests. I think we definitely make one, but I think we finish in this area. That's the primary idea for me today as of right now. What are other ways that this could go? Well, the other way that this could go is we could get this test, we could get this, and then it's possible for this to really continue lower through these 60s. If we get through the 60s and we continue lower, we're looking for the 40s to 30s, this former area of balance. This would be the key target below if we really start to extend. This 30 to 40 area, it's a magnet zone. That would be if we get really strong extension below this area, if this area fails. And if that happens, I would really expect settlement on any retracements to really be shutting off the trade. Like maybe a stop here ahead of the overnight low, push higher, continue lower. But that would be the key idea on a break below here. We'd be looking for the magnet zone. I would not be exceptionally aggressive to initiate here unless the context supports. Yesterday, the context supported. If we don't get that context today, I will be less likely to, uh, to initiate in here. I would probably look to get, you know, see failure here, see it fail, try to look for something on a break of FS levels. That would be where I'd look to get on board this trade or a failure through settlement to target the overnight low. What would happen if this got really bullish? The key area, if this got bullish, we it, again, it would be this area, in my opinion, where we'd have to see price attempt higher. We'd need to see this area become support. We'd see an attempt higher. We'd see sellers attempt to hold this area, but we'd see price continue, sort of hold, breach higher, and then finally, continue. Now on a bullish scenario like this that gets above the prior month's high, I would really be looking for these 50s, this mid-century. This would be key, a key target on extension through prior month's high. That would be the key target. Again, I wouldn't really look for a ton of extension higher uh, for me personally today. However, if we do, obviously we'd have the next zone. That would kind of be a lot of extension for me. I really think on a bullish scenario, if we get through this, this is a key target. We could also roll over past that. Continuation is possible and it's something we should be ready for. However, I'm thinking it's a little bit less likely today. So just to wrap that up and kind of tie a bow on it, we're looking at prior month's low as a key area. We're looking at the overnight low as a key area. 
and breaching the overnight low, we're looking at the 60s, which is that swing low that I pointed out in the daily chart. These are the important tests. These are the, area, these are the ways that I think they could happen. Like I said, the blue scenario, most likely a push higher, test prior months, prior months uh, low, find resistance again, continue lower to take settlement, and potentially the overnight low. If sellers are exceptionally strong, this could continue with the red scenario. If we get something different, we could get the yellow scenario, which I think will be hearkened by seeing first support on this overnight structure and then a push through the prior months, prior months low, which then I would look for the 48s, 50s, the targets we had before. Those are the general ideas I'm looking for today. A couple other things to mention. Uh, I just from what I was hearing from traders yesterday, um, something to keep in mind is the prior few weeks, it was a it was a pretty good trade in the S and P's to just buy intraday dips. You know, we we're in a bull market. Sometimes you'd see profit taking during the day, and the market would you know get sold off pretty hard during the day. And it was a you know you could look for setups to buy dips, and it was a pretty good trade over the last few weeks. That trade, as of yesterday, it would have got you smoked. Um, and a lot of that has to do, in my opinion, with the kind of change in the larger theme that we're seeing on the daily, lower highs, lower lows, we're retracing. The market doesn't have that uh, ability to facilitate higher prices so easily. So I would be careful with that trade uh, until we start to see higher highs on the daily because, um, you know, buying dips in the S&Ps, like, it looked like a good trade yesterday, a bunch, and it was never a good trade. So uh, keep that in mind that that was a trade that, that was very viable the last few weeks to look for um, intraday dips, you know, maybe like market opens, breaks lower, but below full session levels, and then, you know, puts in a low early between nine and 10. It's a, and you buy it to trade the IB or to trade the overnight stat, and you get the rally. Um, didn't happen as much yesterday now we're starting to see a little bit of a different theme in the market so keep them keep you know be aware of that other kind of bigger thing to be aware of um big move yesterday closed nearly two vola down we've already tested the prior days low so we do have decent volume and range today but like i said based on my scenarios i'm not that optimistic about a repeat for that kind of range I think we could see a lot of volume today, but as I said, primary expectation, I think a lot of the volume will happen within uh, this area. So that's what I'm seeing today. Anyone in Convergent that wants to talk more about these ideas, I mean, you know where to find me. Uh, and I think, yeah, that, that's everything we got for you today. Anyone in Convergent, feel free to hit me up. We'll talk about these ideas. For everybody, I hope you have a great day today. I hope you find a way to improve your trading, no matter what your P&L is, and find a way to make it a great day. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.